What's going on, Giants fans? Happy Friday, TGIF. Hopefully everyone's week went well, and it is time for the weekend. We got a big game coming up. Now I know before you say, it's not a big game, the Lions aren't that good. I get that, but you know, the Giants on paper, we're not very good either, yet we are seven and two. A lot of people like to call us frauds. A lot of people like to call us the worst seven and two in the NFL. I don't care. Any way you slice it, seven and two is seven and two. You play who's on your schedule. And speaking of schedule, the Giants have the hardest remaining schedule in the NFL. So take it how you want it. Seven and two is seven and two. Any way, you, in any which way you end up slicing it. Um, but let's get into it. The Detroit Lions are coming into town to face the New York Giants. Uh, we, as of now, if you live in South Jersey, the game will be on TV. Fingers crossed that we are not blocked out, at least on my end, because I do not feel like streaming. But uh, but I'm excited for this game. Now, the Lions do come into this game with a decent offense. They can score points, and they can score with the best of them for what it seems like. Um, they are not afraid to put points on the board. Our offense does not put that many points on the board. So I believe our best chance of winning is stopping the passing game of Jared Goff limit turnovers on offense and commit turnovers on our defense. Now, they have a two-headed running attack. I'm not sure if Swift will be playing. He was banged up last week. Him and Jamal Williams are very formidable running backs. So we have to have our run game strong, our run defense strong, and stop the run, force Jared Goff into some mistakes, and hopefully we can win a nice, clean, sound football game and move on to 8-2. Um, I think this is going to be a tough game. I think this is going to be another week of us sweating it out in the fourth quarter for the sole fact that we just do not have enough firepower to match wits with this offense. Um, they, they can score points at will, like I said, so we need to bring our A game on defense and we need to have the guys step up on offense. A um, couple guys on the injury report, Wandale Robinson had a little bit of a hamstring issue in practice. He was held out of practice yesterday. Um, Kenny Galladay is limited with another injury. Who, who knows? He seems like he's always hurt. But, you know, this could have been a revenge game for him if he does play, playing against his former team. If this was going to be a game that he could catch the fucking ball, this would be the game that he does it. So, hopefully he can play. <laughs> Who knows? I'm not going to put any expectations on this fucking bum. He can't catch. He is horrible. This is his, definitely his last season with the Giants, unless a miracle happens. Uh, but hopefully, you know, if he does get playing time, hopefully something deep inside motivates him to play well against his former team, and maybe he can contribute. Who knows? I'm not putting any stock into it. Um, but, yeah, I, I see this game as another – Another close game, another sweat in the fourth quarter. Um, I believe it will come down to what defense commits more turnovers or forces more turnovers, and uh, whoever holds on to the ball better on offense. If Daniel Jones can play another mistake-free football game, we have a very good shot at winning, and, and I think we do win. Being home, the home crowd, that will certainly help us. Um, we're playing a dome team. It's supposed to be cold in the 30s, high 30s maybe even. Um, so I expect a lot of wind, especially with that snowstorm up north. I expect a lot of wind, a lot of huge gusts. Um, I believe we're going to pound and run the ball, run and bowl as much as possible with Daniel Jones and Barkley. Um, hopefully this could be the game that Barkley eclipses 200 yards rushing. And uh, hopefully this could be the game that, you know, the passing game opens up a little bit that we throw for more than 17 attempts in one game. That would be nice. Um, but we are banged up in the receiving uh, department. So hopefully this is the last game. We are without our prodigal son, Odell Beckham Jr. Still no update on him. Be expecting to sign with someone by the end of the month. Uh, and hopefully this will be the last week and then we'll get a clear uh, clear update on which team he'll try to play for. Um, but who knows? Again, I expect this to be a very close game. My prediction is going to be Giants 27, Lions 20. I think it will be a close game throughout the entire second half of the game. And then I believe our defense will make another stop like they seem like they've always done in each game we have won this year. They always come up big in the last remaining minutes, and I believe that will happen once again. Um, Kayvon Thibodeau only has one sack this year. That was the strip sack he forced on Lamar Jackson. 
only has one. I know he's a rookie. I know it looks like he's being constantly held every time he's just that close to the quarterback. Um, maybe he has to sell it more. Maybe he's not getting the calls just yet because he's only a rookie. I don't know the answer to that, but I know he's close. Uh, so hopefully he can get some more sacks and get some more pressure on the quarterback. Um, other than that, guys, I think it's going to be a close game, but I believe we will win in the end. Um, if we do win, we will be 8-2, uh, setting up very nicely for the Cowboys Thanksgiving game on next Thursday. Um, I'm excited for that. It's been a while since we played on Thanksgiving, a divisional game in Jerry's World, in Dow Stadium. Um, so I'm pumped for that. Um, I will keep you updated on any more uh, Odell Beckham Jr. reports. I don't think anything's going to happen this week, but maybe next week, hopefully we'll get an answer. Um, until then, guys, I will uh, be back Sunday afternoon recapping the game against the Lions and hopefully enjoying a nice victory. Uh, that is all I have for today, guys. Enjoy your weekend. Stay safe out there. God bless you guys. Thank you for watching. If you are a new subscriber, thank you for subscribing. If you are a first-time viewer, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, I, I appreciate all you guys' support. And as always, let's go. G-Man!